there was molestation there was groping uh touching without consent this happened at the wfi office it happened at tournaments abroad these are allegations of course he wanted the number of one of the women wrestlers then during a photo session the allegation is that there was this women wrestler who was tall so she was standing at the back bridge bushan came towards her and then uh, touched her in inappropriately the delhi police last month filed a charge sheet in the case related to the six women wrestlers who have filed who have filed complaints of allegations of sexual harassment against wrestling federation of india president bridgebushan sharan singh uh the significance of the charge sheet is that after the complaints were made the fir was filed and the next step is the charge sheet it contains section 354 354a 354d which relates to outrage in the modesty of a woman sexual harassment stalking and the charge sheet has also said that singh is liable to be prosecuted and punished for offenses of sexual harassment molestation stalking these uh, this is punishable as a punishable offense up to 5 years and it is significant because uh, the wrestlers first started the protest in january that ended in 3 days and then there was a oversight committee set up by the sports ministry they were not happy with the oversight committee findings they said they had lost faith and their demand was that bridgebushan singh needs to be arrested so the charge sheet is now filing court the court has summoned bridgebushan sharan singh so it is it is now going to be fought in court and that we'll have to wait and see like you don't know when it'll happen but it'll happen over the next few months and what the court decides whether he should be arrested or not or what the trial all that will take place complaint of the wrestlers uh, the fir and also the charge sheet it mentions like what happened to what these wrestlers are alleging like uh, bridgebushan singh sir and according to the complaints the fir and even the charge sheet two wrestlers he called them he they when they went to the wrestling federation of india office which happens to be in the same premises as his mp bangalore there was molestation there was groping uh touching without consent this happened at the wfi office it happened at tournaments abroad so those kind of allegations are there in this and also the fact that he these are allegations of course he wanted the number of one of the women wrestlers then during a photo session the allegation is that there was this women wrestler who was tall so she was standing at the back bridge bushan came towards her and then uh, touched her in, inappropriately so these are the kind of allegations and the police has done a detailed investigation if you go through the charge sheet you'll know that it's very detailed they traveled to different venues places they spoke to hundreds of people they looked for call records so suppose it happened abroad a event happened abroad in the they have asked for photographs because in the photograph official photographs on the wfi you can see this particular wrestler and bridge bushan that shows that they had gone there and they were at the same event so those kind of things it's a detailed investigation yeah so that is very important because in such cases some of these incidents these incidents date back from 2012 to 2022 so in such incidents like suppose the alleged molestation happened in the wfi federation uh, president's office the allegation is that he asked the others to leave now where is the evidence there is no cctv there so in such cases where allegations are made after a few years or after a few months it is important that there's corroboration otherwise it's just he said she said it's a argument i mean but when there's corroboration it adds weight so corroboration is like someone says that yes the the day after this happened on the day this happened this particular wrestler called me and said that this happened to me and she was very disturbed so that is there in one of the cases one of the wrestlers called a roommate of hers at the national camp and said this has happened so that that roommate is saying that yes this wrestler called me back then that is corroboration 
there are referees at that fo group photo which was taken in which Bridgebushan allegedly uh, placed his hands on the buttocks of one of the wrestlers. There is one referee who has said that I saw this Bridgebushan standing next to this girl and she was very uncomfortable. She wriggled out and went and stood in front. Another referee says I saw him uh, in the act. I, I saw him doing the act of inappropriate touch. So that is corroboration. So there are 15 corroborators. They have corroborated in part or in full and they include referees, coaches and include some of India's top wrestlers. So that is a very important part of this because corroboration becomes very important in such cases. It will be a little premature for me to say that when they will arrest him. But like we said, the sections under which he is charged, it is arrest up to five years. So now the, the charge sheet is filed. The wrestlers have lawyers, Bridgebushan has lawyers, they'll go to court, arguments will take place. And then on the merits of the case, like they will call witnesses, I'm presuming, they will call Bridgebushan and there will be hearings, there will be number of hearings. And if and when he's arrested, it may take a few months. It's not going to happen within a week, but in a few months. But if he's arrested, that is what these wrestlers always wanted. When they came in January, they wanted him arrested. And then after they had a long protest from April 21st onwards, which lasted over a month, their demand was Giraftari or address, uh, arrest. Sorry. So that, so that in a way is a victory for the wrestlers. But now we'll have to see what happens in court. No, the minors complaint is not mentioned in the charge sheet because there have been two statements. Yeah. So that the court will decide like which statement to accept because the minor has first said uh, made us initial statement and then sort of withdrawn it. Uh, so, what happened was the wrestlers were on pro were started the protest in Jan, they protested for three days, then uh, they again protested in April. So, after that, there was this incident of them being detained when they tried to march to the new parliament house, they threatened to throw the medals into the river. Then they met sports minister Anurag Thakur and he assured that the charge sheet would be filed by June 15th. So that happened. So now what will happen is the wrestlers, once the charge sheet was filed, they have gone back to training because there's the Asian Games coming up. The trials have been postponed because these wrestlers wanted some more time to prepare because they were in protest, protesting. So they are training abroad. Bridgebushan has been summoned by the court. So now again, it's we'll have to wait and watch what happens in court.